It's week 13 of the 2027 season, and we'll be watching the Patriots' leader at quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. playoff conversation but can you now play good enough ball down the stretch to not only be in the conversation but actually find yourself in the postseason Set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. He'll work his way across the 25 yard line. So the Jets offense ready to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the young man in his second season in the NFL. Really solid all around performance last week, Mike. And I think the biggest factor that led to the win is his ability to continue to protect the football. He executed the offense, ran it exactly how they designed all week in practice. Now, it might not have been earth-shattering performance statistically, but they got the win. If he can continue to play that style of ball, it's going to be a tough group to match up with. You get a look there at his numbers on the ground from a week ago. Here's second and nine. Now they'll set up to throw. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Really well done here by the defense, Mike. Executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. Fair catch called and made right there at the 25-yard line. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. And taking the snaps, a quarterback now in his third year in the league. One thing about this guy that's pretty clear, Mike, is there's not a whole lot that rattles him. He does a good job staying even keel. You don't know if he just threw a pick or if he just led his team to a touchdown drive. And that was kind of the case last week. He didn't let it snowball into a bunch of back-breaking mistakes. He shook it off and kept playing. Now, can he keep that mentality as the rest of the year unfolds? If he does... He's going to give his team a chance every single week. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time, but contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. to throw. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. So that'll bring up fourth down. And here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punch it away. As he is on to kick it away. And the receiver with a fair catch, taken successfully. And that's where he'll turn it over to the offense. They'll come up here first and ten. First run of the game here with Zach Charbonnet. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. They'll come up on a second down and eight. On 
on play action, he'll set up to throw. The whole idea of the play action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, and this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. The Patriots offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. He has played well all season long, entering this final stretch of games in December and January as the NFL leader in touchdown passes. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. There you get a look at his numbers on the ground a week ago as a part of their victory. Second and seven. to the ground he'll get it again lots of space past the 45 and he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50 yard line it's definitely nice to have one of those bruising punishing backs kind of help wear down the defense but i'll tell you what you can give me a flat out electric runner like this guy any day of the week he can turn on those jets get in that high gear and he is gone Now, off the bootleg, he'll look to throw here. Going for it all. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Hubbard very strong defensively. It's second down. He'll drop to throw. That's into traffic, but taken in. Nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. He'll try and throw for it on third and one. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. This one from just under 50 yards. Elliott's kick is good. And the Patriots will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. So now the Jets offense ready to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. That's caught. It's Braylon Allen. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down. In trouble, and down he goes. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll run with Allen. 
And he'll get about six on that one. Still have work to do. Third down coming up. Brings up third down. He'll look to throw. Open man, left side. He's field. That is catch number 60 for the season. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that one is incomplete. Penalty flag down, back in the backfield, in the area of holding. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. The Patriots out on top. More from MetLife Stadium after this. They'll look to throw. Catch made right side by Wilson. carry here for Allen and nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage and that is it third and long it's now third down and long that's caught left side it's complete and he'll be taken down a big play for the Jets it's a gain of 49. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play gets them down close. And now it's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Powering forward. He's in. Braylon Allen. Touchdown, New York. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. This will be returned from the six. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And he'll be out of bounds on the return. And the drive will begin then. The Patriots offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. He's had a nose to the end zone all season long. And now here in the month of December, he is the NFL's leader this season for rushing touchdowns. Complete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Now a give up the middle. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. You know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. Oh, there's movement up front. That's going to make this third down a lot tougher. Here's third down and a few inches. A shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, pitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Second and 11. They'll stick with him again. He'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. 
It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Patriots first down. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. 29 yards in all. And they'll have it first and goal. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. He'll get this out to his running back. He's going to lose yardage. How about the defense standing up in the red zone? They'll mark it at the 10. Now, here's second and goal. They'll throw out of the gun. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. sitting here saying that's a touchdown and instead they force a turnover and now their offense is back on the field the drive begins at the 20 here's first and 10 right away they'll set up to throw and that one knocked away. It's incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And he's taken down, but not until he gets to the 32-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. And the Jets have a first down. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throwing now from the gun. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. 7-3 is the score. Two minutes to play in the first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this. Now on third, the pass rush gets home, and he goes down. Now the Patriots are going to use their first timeout. Logan Here's Cook Logan Cook now, as he's on to punt for the Jets. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Patriots offense, and their running back, set to go once more. And he continues to be a thorn in the side of defenses trying to stop him. Currently second in the NFL in rushing back to throw here to begin the drop quick throw taken in and good yardage there after the catch they'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down and that is incomplete pretty clear coming into this game that this offense felt that they had a distinct advantage running the ball matchup that they thought all week went in their favor and so far the results indicate that they were spot on so they come to the line for first down and 10 he'll look over the middle and find his running back they'll work now on second and four it's intercepted he tried to take on sauce and Gardner took it away and his offense is 
going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. Well, Mike, once again, this drive, it ends the same way their last one did, walking off the field, following an interception. Now, you're hoping this is more momentary struggle than it is a trend, but as hard as it is to do, they need to get calmed down. They need to reset because their offense cannot operate at a high level if they don't have confidence in this passing game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. Now the Jets going to use the first of their timeouts. The clock will stop with 34 seconds to go until the break. Now this looks like a design run. Now a timeout, Jets. It'll be their second as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. On third down, it's Allen. That is not going to work at all. He'll manage to only get back to the line of scrimmage. Very short of the first down. Fourth down coming up. Turn fourth coverage. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. The Pates offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work ahead for about five to the 25. Keep it on the ground here again. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And it's the Dolphins who are out in front in the second quarter. A.J. Brown, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to Kansas City to check on the Chiefs at Arrowhead. And that game has gone to halftime with the visiting Texans out on top. It's C.J. Stroud with a couple of touchdown passes. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Josh Allen has thrown a touchdown pass. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Mike is going to play a big role in who wins this one. Now return, coming from the seven. A good return as he takes it across the 30. This offense ready for their next possession, led by their running back. And really, he has not produced a whole lot of highlights as we thought about coming in that he could be a featured back in this one instead no running lanes no room to operate stuck at the line of scrimmage and generally taking this offense out of its flow quick throw here is complete and he'll get about eight on that one most of it coming after the catch it's second down It's a counter, and not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Now a third and two. Trying to pick 
this one up on the ground. And he's going to have a Patriots first down. He's up to the 45-yard line. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? This third and short. Just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Quick throw out wide. It's caught. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. So second down, and they'll run it. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard. That's it. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Going up top. That is going to be full in. He's got it. Touchdown, Patriots. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. Now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Patriots are on top. It's now 10 to seven. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He'll start at the four. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. Well, they had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. On first down, they'll start with Charbonnet. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. And he'll pick up two out to the 27. Third down and nine. Brings up third and nine. He'll get this complete to Allen. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. On now comes the punt team for the Jets. As he's on for the fifth time this afternoon. Fair catch made here. The drive will start at the 23-yard line. The visitors' offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. Checking it down, this one is caught. That one good for a dozen, and a very quick first down. Blown back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's a gain of 10 yards. First down, New England. Now, faking the give. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He'll try again here, second and ten. Now they'll set up to throw. That's complete on the tight end screen. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. A gain there of ten yards. Good for a Patriots first down. Back to throw. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll take this down inside the 35. First and 10. They'll look to throw again. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and 
There's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Here's a third down and four. He'll drop the throw. And this ball incomplete on third down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. The return starts from the foul. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. It's easy to make your quarterback look good when you can just get open as easily as he has in this game so far. I mean, he had the big first half, remember. But here in the second half, he just continues to add to these numbers here in the third quarter. That's caught over the middle. It's Wilson. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. So we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. And it's going to bring up a third down. They'll look to throw. He's got his man. Complete to Wilson. Two times they've connected on this drive now. This one for 21 yards and a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Someone up front moves early. Can't continue to make these mistakes if you're trying to mount a big comeback. Come out of the gun, he'll throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. He'll take this forward maybe two, three yards, but... Doesn't matter, we have a flag down, and they're already marching backward.
His throw left. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Here in the fourth quarter, you just can't predict how many possessions you have left for the remainder of the game. So you can't let any of them go to waste. So far, this has been a fantastic drive. It's a drive that they desperately needed. They continue to throw the ball like that. They got a chance to take a late lead here in the fourth quarter. On play action, he'll set up to throw. Catch made, right side by Wilson. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. This one grabbed by Austin. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. He pulls it in around the five. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the six-yard line. They'll run. Whoa! And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. Third and goal. It's third down and goal to go. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. It is brought in in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. The game time touchdown here in the fourth quarter and a chance to take the lead with the point after. Mike, the sidelines going crazy with that late score. But they still need this extra point to take the lead here and see if they can hang on to this fourth quarter lead. Now the try here for the point after. The kick is good. Important one as they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. This is fielded inside the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. What's the old saying, Mike? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. At this point, there's just really no reason to not just continue to target him. He's been running free all game long, and you can see the numbers. They bear that out. It's evident right from the start that they were going to look his way early and often, and I think it turned out to be a pretty good game plan. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He's going to be taken down, but there's a late flag in the backfield that might give him 15 more yards. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. Quickly to the outside and complete. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part, so... Once this ball was caught, they really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier, and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Here's first and 10.
They'll drop to throw. Taking off. He tried to buy all the time he could, but when he saw that space, he quickly turned from thrower to runner, and he's able to pick up a nice game on first down. Here's a designed run. Down in the red zone, designed quarterback runs are a handful for defenses to account for, but in this case, give them credit. Not a lot of room to maneuver here for the quarterback, and they keep it to a short game. They'll stick to the ground. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. He'll take him down at the three-yard line. An important kick coming up. This to... Good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Well, Mike, sometimes we try to make NFL football a lot harder than it is. When you have a reliable target like this, and he just continues to get open, and you realize the defense simply can't cover him, there's no reason to look anywhere else. Not only is he put together... And that would be the dagger. It's intercepted. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you why. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. They've got the lead, and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. They'll turn and hand this one off. Finding space at the 15. And he's going to take this all the way home. Touchdown, New England. Now, an important extra point here to maybe salt this one away. He's got it. And the Pats will make it a two-score game as they are now up nine. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one taken at the seven. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. Here comes second down. The throw here is complete. And he's out of bounds with the first down. So they get a new set of downs and just as importantly stop the clock. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. Jets are going to use their third and final timeout here as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in this and this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. Off the play pick. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. 
So it's a road win here for the Patriots. They get the home victory here in the division in the first of their two scheduled matchups. Have a chance to go for the season sweep on the road later in the season. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone.